All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let me plug the joint right quick. She hates you, but wants you in bed. Here's why. She hates you, but wants you in bed. Here's why. You know, I did a video recently, and I talked about how women really aren't that complicated, right? Women really aren't that complicated. Now, and I also said in that video that when it comes to dealing with women, there are things that are simplistic that guys make complicated. And then there are other things that have complexities to it. Y'all have to understand, although women are not complicated, just generally speaking, there are complexities to how certain things may occur. Meaning women aren't predictable in a sense that you can't always tell why a woman likes what she likes or why she's fucking with that guy. Now, women, again, women are not complicated, but there are complexities to why a woman may prefer that guy over that guy. Although logically speaking, it makes more sense for her to fuck with that guy. But because she is sexually attracted to this guy, which sexual attraction is illogical, she's fucking with him, right? When you talk about feelings and emotions, right? When you're talking about feelings and emotions, there is nothing logical about feelings and emotions. The logic comes in when you have the maturity, right? When you have the astute awareness and observation to... Take your feelings and emotions and reason with yourself before you make decisions to do things. Okay, which brings me to this. Let me say this. Sexual attraction is involuntary. Some of you might not even understand this. Sexual attraction is involuntary. Women cannot always help who arouse that interest, but still need to choose to partake. So a woman can have these feelings, right? A woman can be enticed to sexually desire a particular guy, but she has the capacity to reason with herself to actually go through with the sex, right? I need guys to understand this. A woman could be out and about, she could be having a conversation and a guy can turn her on even though she did not consciously elect to say, I want to deal with that guy. She might just be having a conversation. And during the course of the conversation, she starts to be overtaken by these feelings that she's having in the moment. The guy is arousing her. The guy is enticing her with not only his physical presence, but the way that he's talking. She's starting to have these feelings. She's starting to desire him, right? That's oftentimes involuntary. She's not making a conscious decision to be aroused by that guy. But she can make, I'll give you an example. Let me, let me back up. Let me, and I'm going to show you guys a Facebook post to illustrate why I'm even talking about this. Right? So there has been instances where I've met women at a night spot. Right? And like, I'll give you an example. I told a story real quick, and I'm not going to tell the whole story again. I told a story of how there was a young lady that was dancing on the dance floor, right? She had her back to me and I just walked up behind her and started grinding on her, you know, dirty dancing, freak dancing, whatever you want to call it. And she looked back twice. She did a double take and she kept on dancing. And through the course of us dancing, I'm rubbing up her thighs and all of that. And she had on a form fitting dress Come to find out she didn't have no panties on. And this is something that she revealed to me. So as I'm creeping my hand up her thighs, right, she starts to get wet. And her wetness starts to trickle down my fingers, right? So at that juncture, I make a play to pull her out the spot, to take her to the, to the, to the, to the, to the crib. And she basically told me, well, I'm not going to leave with you tonight, but I'm down to get together at another time, just not tonight. So 
her sexual attraction to me and her being aroused by me on a dance floor was involuntary. She didn't consciously, she didn't consciously set out to say, I want to fuck that guy. I want him to turn me on sexually. That's not how it happened. It just happened through the course of us dancing. But she reasoned with herself to say, it's not going to happen tonight. We can do it another time. Right? So let me get to this Facebook post. Okay, hold on right quick. Boom. Why do I want to fuck someone I really dislike? There's this dude in my class who's arrogant, know-it-all, loves playing the devil's advocate for no reason. You know the type. And I absolutely do not want to be friends with him or date him. In fact, I roll my eyes every time he talks in class. But God, I so badly want to sleep with him. It's embarrassing. He's mildly attractive. See, what she's saying is, visually and from a physical um, aspect, he really don't do it for her. Like he's not a head turner. He's not the type of guy he comes into a room or a space and women just gawk at him based on what she sees. He's mildly attractive, which means he's probably average to slightly above average looking. But I know that doesn't have anything to do with it because there are dudes way more attractive in my class who I do not want to sleep with. Guys, she's telling you there are men who look better than him, but she does not desire them sexually, at least not so aggressively. I just don't understand why. Now, most of what you <laughs> this is funny to me, because this is what this is why I say a lot of guys are clueless as to what it means to be sexually attractive. Now, most of you would say hate fuck. But what's the exact the logic behind it? Okay. See, hate fuck is okay. Let me, let me say this about hate fucking. Hate fucking is what a lot of guys who don't like women like to do. Like there are guys on the internet who talk all types of shit about single mothers, about 304s, about modern women this, modern women that. They talk about pumping and dumping chicks. They're the type of guys, they don't like women at all. But because they're still heterosexual men, they still desire sex. These are the type of guys that would quote unquote hate fuck women, right? And their disdain, their angst, their vitriol towards women is, is usually misplaced, right? It's usually because they were conditioned to view women a certain way. They were conditioned to view women and sex a certain way, right? A lot of it is falsehoods. Um, a lot of it is myths and fallacies. And because they were conditioned to believe, uh, to view women a certain way, once they started dealing with women romantically and or sexually, they realized that none of it is, is what it seems. Everything they would, they were led to believe about women or they were conditioned to believe it's not true. So instead of them just adapting to the reality of the quote unquote true nature of women, they just want to be mad at women, right? They don't want to adhere to the truth. They don't want to adhere to the game. See, once you adhere to the game and you get rid of that angst and that vitriol, right? And all those false beliefs and ideologies, right? You can relax a little bit and not take everything so seriously. See, guys, they choose to be mad at women. That's a choice. It has nothing to do with women. You're making a conscious choice to be mad at women. But let's get back to this. Right? There's this dude in my class who's arrogant, know-it-all, loves playing devil's advocate for no reason. You know the type. And I absolutely do not want to be friends with him or date him. In fact, I roll my eyes every time he talks in class. But God, I so badly want to sleep with him. It's embarrassing. See, I've said, I've said this recently. There's a duality in what women love about men and what they hate about men. Let me say that shit again. There is a duality in what women love 
about certain men and what they hate about certain men, right? It's a love-hate relationship with the very thing that turns them on about men, but they can't stand. Let me, let me elaborate a little further. Women, they want the best looking men, the most sexiest man they can get who knows how to talk to women and he knows how to fuck. He's good with women. He's the type of guy that has options. Women want that, but they also hate it. Okay, let me say that shit again. Women want the best looking man they can get their hands on. The most physically attractive man they can get their hands on that they believe is sexy. And he has a sex appeal. And he's very good with women. He knows how to talk. He knows his way around the bedroom. They understand that this type of man has options and other women want him. They know this. But the same thing that they want in a man they also hate because they know they can't keep that man. They know that man is going to want other women. They know this. So the same thing that women love in men, they also hate in men. What she's experiencing is just that. Let me plug the joint. She hates you, but wants you in bed. Here's why. Women want a dominant, assertive, transparent man who don't take no shit. He's quick to put a bitch in her place. Women, they want this. They crave it. They need it. But they hate it at the same time. Fuck what a woman wants. What a woman needs. A dominant, assertive, transparent man who don't take no shit. The type of man who would tell women on a live stream and in this video, I don't deal with women on their terms. I deal with women strictly on my terms. She can take it or leave it. That very thing, a lot of women like, but they don't like it at the same time. They like it because they know a brother like myself, I'm not the clinky type. I'm not the needy type. I don't get pussy whipped. I don't sweat a chick or her pussy. See, women, they love men like that but they also hate men like that because that same type of man is going to say, oh, you want me to spend time with you non-sexually? It ain't going to happen. Not when we first meet. We just fucking. See, the same thing they love in a man, they hate in a man, right? This is why you hear, you hear guys say women, they want an alpha male with beta traits, right? They want a dominant masculine man who will be accommodating, right? Who will make concessions for them, who will, who will listen to them sometimes. But that type of man don't exist. So the same thing women love, they hate in a man. So with the guy that she's talking about, see, she knows he doesn't give a damn about her feelings. He don't give a damn about her opinion. So when they're talking, he, he's not trying to be politically correct. He's not trying to stay on her good side. He talks his shit unapologetically and authentically. And she loves it. See, a lot of times, this is what will happen with women when they meet a dominant, authoritative masculine man. This is what will happen. There is an internal battle raging inside some women. Now, feel me when it's a duality. It's an internal battle raging inside women where their conditioning, as far as how they're told how they should interact with men and what they should expect from a man and a man should do all of this shit for them. See, they're, they're trying to lean in that direction. So their conditioning and their influence when it comes to maybe how they were raised or society or their friends and families, they're, they're having an internal battle with outside influences and with their vagina. Let me say that shit again. In that particular case, the post that I showed you, 
she is having an internal battle with her programming, with her societal conditioning, and her vagina. See, her conditioning, her mind, is telling her no. But her body, her body is telling you yes, R. Kelly was right. When R. Kelly, when he penned that line, that is absolutely true. Her mind is telling her no, but her body is telling her yes. So she's literally battling with her vagina. Like, hey, hey, shut up. This nigga is rude. He's a male chauvinist. He's a misogynist. Her vagina is saying, I don't give a fuck about all that. Do you, do you not see this moisture down here? Do you not see this moisture gathering in your panties? Every time you're around this dude, this happens to us. And her mind is saying, shut up. We don't want him. And her vagina is quivering saying, yes, I need his dick. I don't know what he looks like, but based on what he's saying and how he's making you feel, get him, girl. We need, we need that dick now. And this is some true shit. I know I'm talking shit a little bit. I'm being a little facetious, but this is some real shit. So when I say sexual attraction is not logical, when I say a lot of times women will encounter a man who is not really their type, especially physically, but they can't control how they feel. It's involuntary. They just got to have that man's dick. Now, they might not want to be in a relationship with him. In fact, they don't even like him. Like and she's, she's saying, I don't like him. Like, I don't like this guy. But I want to fuck him. And guys, this is commonplace. This ain't no one-off. This ain't no exception here and there. This is commonplace. When you get off the internet and you deal with women, you will encounter women. Let, let me tell you this. I'm going to finish it with this. I was at a party one time. I was at a party. And we got to talking about relationships, marriages, dating, you know, dating dynamics, and all of that. And I'm talking about my ideologies, my philosophies. And of course, you know, I got a YouTube channel, so I'm talking about that. There are women in there that I'm getting into a spirited back and forth with because they disagree with my stance, right? See, women want to be able to see what this is what it is. Women are so used, especially attractive women, but women in general, you ain't a woman don't even got a woman don't even got to be all of that attractive, you know. To, to many guys, right? But just women in general and even more attractive women, they're so used to being able to influence men with their beauty, their body, and sex, their vagina. They're so used to being able to influence men that when they run across a man that's like, oh, I don't give a fuck how you look. I don't give a fuck how cute you are. Your vagina? What you saying? I can't, I can't get that? Keep your shit. I don't want your shit. Honey, you know you want this. Girl, I don't want your vagina. I don't give a fuck about that. Even saying that will have some women like, why? Well, I'm not used to this. I'm used to men sweating me. How come he ain't sweating me? How come he ain't bending the knee? I'm used to men kowtowing to me and bowing down to me. He ain't doing that. Damn. I can't stand it, but I like it at the same time. So I'm having a spirited back and forth with these young ladies. Tell me why. There was a lady there who later on pulled me to the side and wanted to get at me, right? All the other ladies in the spot, or a good number of them, we having a spirited back and forth. There's a young lady over here on the couch, off in the corner, the whole time just listening and watching observing, studying even, pull me to the side. 
and was getting at your boy. She hates you, but wants you in bed. And she told me later on when we had a conversation, she said, I really don't agree with none of that shit you say, but I respect it. And it turns me on that you're so, that you have this line drawn. And, and you speak with the passion you speak with and you have the convictions that you have. You know, there's something very sexy about your level of confidence. Again, I might not necessarily agree with how you view shit, but it turned me on, right? Guys, she hates you, but wants you in bed. See, a lot of guys, y'all spend so much time, time trying to get a woman to like you when all you got to do is just be you unapologetically unapologetically be a fucking man. Let your nuts hang. Talk your shit. There's going to be some women that ain't feeling you. And there's going to be some other women that ain't feeling you. Personality-wise, as far as they don't really like your philosophy. But they want to fuck you, though. That's it. That's all I'm out.